Okay, this is a Apex 207D valve twin input microphone preamp and the customer noticed it was smelling quite badly and the tracked it down to the power supply PCB which is a switch mode power supply. The On investigation one of the X2 capacitors that are across the mains input had failed and it overheated and melted out the gunk out the bottom of the capacitor all over the PCB. That's the failed device. Apparently they fail in a short circuit mode and should take out the fuse but this one didn't so it would have just sat there getting hot. So I took them out and the coil to remove to give the board a good clean before putting them back in again. This is a look around the unit. It's a standard 1U uh, rack mount box. There's a lot of circuitry inside it, but it's there's a lot of analog. Well, it's a mixture of you've got a lot of analog circuitry. You've got a valve, which is part of the preamp stage, and then the, after following the valve is a 24-bit digital um, A to D converter so you can get digital output from the unit as well as analog outputs. So when you turn the unit on you have to wait for the valve heaters to warm up and I don't know whether it, whether it just waits a certain amount of time or whether it did actually detects that the valve is, is ready and running but when it's ready it'll click as a relay clicks inside it and that logo that's glowing green uh, glowing orange will glow green when it's determined that the unit can start being used so this is filmed in real time so this is how long it actually did take The valve heaters are glowing, they're very they don't glow very brightly. So but you can just about see them. This is the front panel. We got a channel one and channel two LED monitor display so you can set the uh, gain up to work correctly with your microphones or whatever else you're plugging into the unit. You've got two jack sockets on the front where you can plug in guitars and st or microphones or whatever so this has got a microphone going in I've dubbed this audio over the top of this video so it's not the level meter isn't reflecting what I'm saying but that was from a microphone I plugged in the power supply is crammed in the far left of the box and was a bit of a pig to get out you had to take the whole front panel off and remove the power switch otherwise you couldn't get it out at all the X capacitors are the capacitors either side of the coil on the left hand side. Now looking at the back of it you've got a insert jack to allow you, that allows you to plug in line level output equipment and then beside that you've got a XLR balanced input for the microphone. If you're plugging something into the insert connector it bypasses the, you know, the really sensitive part of the microphone amplifier because microphones have got quite a low level output. Then the output is an analog, you've got an XLR and a quarter inch jack which has got analog output. Then you've got a digital output which is an AES3 which is coming out of the XLR along with a SPDIF output and a BNC clock in. The idea of the clock in is that you can synchronize a lot of units, run, run them all off the same clock 